What kind of reprehensible person would crash their $200,000 McLaren because their face was glued to their kick chat while racing down the road in the pouring rain? If you guessed it was this guy, well done. Buy yourself some cherries or something, I don't know. Together, you and we are going to traverse through this hot mess because we've got a camera and you've got some time. So pick your cup up and get ready to grow from the drama and learn from the chaos. Whether he's annoying members of the public and hiding behind his bodyguard. Ah. Ah. Not so fast though, bro. Or pimping out young women on his OF empire. W but look at it jiggle. Nice. I don't want to get deported. You'd have to go a long way back to find a positive video made by Jackie Boy. But let's get down to business, shall we? During the live stream, Jack was driving down a Miami highway in the comfort of his very cool McLaren 570 while the rain lashed onto the sports car window. However, Jack is not phased. He coolly has one hand on the steering wheel whilst constantly looking down at his kick chat and even remarks. Literally guys, you can't see sh I'm most likely going to crash this car. All while his dashboard displayed that he was going 72 miles per hour. Now, the Eden Motor Group explains that at 70 miles per hour, the heavy rain stopping distance increases to almost 200 meters, which is about 50 car lengths. They advise that instead of going 50 miles per hour, you should be going 30. And instead of going 70 miles per hour, you should be going 45. You should at least be keeping your eyes on the damn road. He isn't adhering to the rules of driving and he isn't paying attention. And you know what they say, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Stupid. And so as the car begins to hydroplane, Jack overreacts by oversteering. Oh, oh, no, no, no. If you ever find yourself in a vehicle and it's hydroplaning, it is butt clenchingly terrifying. Do you know what squeaky bum time is? Squeaky bum. Squeaky bum. No, no, what's that? But you should take your foot off the gas, avoid slamming on the brakes, and gradually steer in the direction that your car is hydroplaning. The key word being gradual. If you steer it too fast, it can result in the car spinning out of control and spin out of control, it did. Help, help, help! Break the window! Oh, oh. Help! Now, if you've ever been in a serious car accident, it's a scary thing. You may be injured or disorientated and a little embarrassed as well. And if by some miracle you are unscathed, I am invincible! You often check to make sure that no one else is injured. Not Jack! Dude! Oh my car! Holy sh no! Step back, step back. Are you f***ing kidding me, bro? Remorse and empathy not being Jack's strong points. He hands the camera to his clearly injured cameraman, telling him... Michael, here. Michael. Yeah, film on that phone, too. Oh. Oh, my God. Is your brain made of worms? Imagine that your actions had led to a dangerous crash that had injured, if not a friend, then a colleague or employee. And your first response is to get that person to film your idiocy so you can howl about how your stupid car is ruined. My car is total, bro. Oh my God, this is cursed. We want to remind everyone watching that 21 year old Jackie boy has a fleet of cars back home, including a Lamborghini Huracan and a Tesla Model X. But if we take a step back from the real world, Jack has made a brand out of blurring the line between content and real life consequences. Oh my gosh, she's coming. Look out, look out, look out. 
Jackie! Hi, Mike! Phil, 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 Phil! Hi, Mike! Don't say it, Jack! Come on, Jack! He has continuously put his brand and making money over public safety. Can I? <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Right, you get away from you me. started talking to me, buddy. Get away from me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. In November 2023, Jack uploaded a video that showed him flipping a golf cart which ended up injuring his girlfriend, McKinley Richardson. Wow, you're just one to try to crap. Oh, 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 oh McKinley, you okay? McKinley, I'm so sorry. Oh, f I fucked up. Yo, help me lift this. Are you okay? Oh, f I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, and pinned a comment that the video is linked to Jack's OnlyFans account. It is a sickness of the highest order. Even in this situation, when he is told to stop recording, he explains. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, it's man. Private. I just crashed my car. I lost 200 grand. I need to make my money back somehow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Just, I'm sorry. My life, my life, I'm, I'm bummed out right now. Social media platforms have incentivized self centered behavior. What the fuck you doing, bro? What the fuck you doing? The fuck, bro? I think you're doing That's an okay. That's cool. Oh. Uh, hello. Hi. You got a nice dog? Sorry? You got a nice dog? She's lovely. She's she's family dog. Don't run away with her. Bing gang, hold on the gang. Get outside. <laughs> Whether it's Jack and his moronic antics or OF workers using fake babies to get their melons out. A lot of what is happening on social media rewards weird behavior and the current climate rewards clout over accountability. In the aftermath, Jack doesn't take stock of what has happened and how he contributed to a potentially fatal situation. I literally I almost died in a car accident. I am like, I literally almost died and I'm like, fuck these cars too. At least I still got two Lambos. <laughs> no, I'm okay. You don't need this car <clears throat> on the way. <clears throat> Motion, I, I can shit. do it again. He doesn't take a single minute to process the fact that he's actually injured someone and that if his camera man decided to sue him, he would be liable. He learns absolutely nothing because he doesn't have to. Hey, what? How was your day? How was my day? It was, it was all right. It's Michael. I don't know. Why is he filming? Funeral home or some shit. How are you doing? <laughs> and he'll still be surrounded by sycophants like his brother who have come to his defense by claiming as well as adding that Michael, the cameraman's injuries, weren't as bad as they looked. What do you mean? When he got into the car, he had no injuries at all. And this is the reason why people like Jack don't change. There are just enough people around him who are incentivized to keep him unaccountable and exempt from responsibility. And when people aren't held accountable, their behavior tends to escalate. However, it seems as if the platform Kick has decided to enforce some consequences and have permaban Jack from streaming on the site. I'm happy Kick actually put their foot down for once but I guess only time will tell if they actually fall through this permanent ban or not. Now, Jack is one of the bigger streamers on the platform, so we'll have to wait and see if the ban sticks. Jack doesn't seem to think it will. You got banned. Why? It's suspended, I'm fine, I'm fine. So how are you gonna do your property? I will, I'll get on ban, don't worry. But the truth is this, as long as there is an audience for influencers who exploit their own safety and the safety of others for content, these type of creators will run up the bag because not only are they doing things that shock viewers, they get bonus media attention from their deplorable acts because it gets clicks. I'm the only one here working! I'm the only one here working! Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I do! Because I have bills every month! I have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars every fucking month and it's fucking stressful! And you understand how it feels my position? I don't want to fucking stream right now! I fucking don't! It drives me insane! It drives me fucking insane! Is this the end of Jack Doherty? Let us know in the comments. And until the next time, my name's Sammy. My name is Don. Our house is your house. 
And remember, grow from your drama, and we'll see you in the next one.